everyone welcome to my channel in this video i want to show you little great devices this is a remote shutter for your smartphone this for android devices and also for iphone in this case i'm using the iphone 11 pro so if you try to find a best and working remote shutter for your iphone iphone 11 11 pro and max version maybe you can buy this one the focus of these devices as a remote shutter but it's working more than that I will show you uh, later this device is price about two dollars it's using a, a small battery uh, you can see the battery here right so you see this is the battery CR2032 this is a standard uh, battery for uh, like this this battery you can find you can buy a spare battery for this remote then right so this also work for android devices but in this case i will show you how to connect these devices this remote shutter and i'm using the iphone 11 pro here it's already connected with to the remote control it's very fast when you turn off and when you turn on it's already connected you see this uh small blue led in here this uh in a turn off mode right so i will turn on right so instant connect it's no longer a waiting to connect you no need to connect manually you don't need to reconnect again it's instantly on and instantly already connected to iphone bluetooth so you can wake up your screen your iphone screen with this bluetooth device any button is working you can find this correctly you can if you convert with this button you can using this one and if you convert with this little button here you can also uh, use this one so I will press once you see the iPhone screen is instantly wake up you can use this also to wake up your iPhone from uh, about 10 meters right once again I press this once right so we see to the screen is off again I will press this button it's also working right so these two buttons is working I reconnected this device is instantly on it's very fast so you don't need to reconnect your iPhone so make sure your Bluetooth is always on so how to connect this remote shutter to your iPhone it's very simple first you need to turn on this little button here just slide up and you see the little LED button is blinking fast it uh, indicate you need to connect this Bluetooth on the remote to your phone so it stop so it's a uh, slow blinking now you can go to settings and go to bluetooth you see the name of the bluetooth is ab shutter 3 so this remote shutter name is ab shutter 3 you can press connect once to connect to begin a pairing and you can choose pair and that's it it's connected the great thing about this is when you already connected and ready pair and you turn off the bluetooth and in other time you want to turn on again you you don't need to you don't need to re repair it again you you don't need to connect again make sure your bluetooth or your iphone is always on and in this case i want to show you uh this remote controller will connect very fast just instantly on instantly connected to the to your iphone bluetooth so this is a turn off so it is in turn off and i will turn on again turn on see it's instantly connected it's already connected to your bluetooth it's very fast and it's very cheap two dollars it also can raise a volume level loading a volume level like this press once after and falls it's amazing right so you can increase the level of the the volume but unfortunately you can decrease the volume you need to this decrease the volume this all only for increase the the volume level so we back to the main uh, function as a remote shutter you can use a camera in here to take a photos or you can use this to take a video so in here is already connected you can take a photo with this from a certain distance it's about 10 meters um, in here in photo mode I will try to press once okay it's the first time is not working but the second time is working and I will try to press uh, multiple times here to make sure it's working 
so this button is also working too right two button is working to take a photos right it's very amazing and if you want to take a videos you can also use this button to take a video right so it's record a video so to turn to stop the record of video you can also use the same button so it stop it's very simple I want to show you is I'm not using the cam this camera as my main photos to take a photos or record video I'm using the moment apps this moment app is very amazing it can take a raw format I always take a photo with a raw format right so this is the moment app the moment camera I will this is a video mode I will change to the photos and you know that this button is also working on your moment app you don't believe me I will try to press this button once right it's working and it's also working too this the small one see it's working right if you think to buy a moment remote shutter I think you don't need to buy those it's very expensive and also and can record a video see you're taking a video to stop you can press once to start again you can press once to stop you can press once it's very simple it's working as a default camera and it's working also in moment app so this is a little great device you can use for your iPhone 11 so you don't need to buy a very expensive remote shutter so that's it how to use this remote shutter so if you find this in any way you can buy this one or maybe two or three devices this is a very cheap I don't know if the first buy it will work maybe you will need to buy a two or three so that's how you can use this remote shutter so this is perfectly convenient this is perfectly travel you can buy this remote shutter for your iPhone 11 11 Pro and Pro Max